What's up my real ones, By Your Kitchen Guy here and I'm back with another video. On today, I will be trying a Florida Spicy Bowl. A Florida Spicy Bowl. I have been, was supposed to try this a long time ago. Somehow it slipped my mind and I recently seen a few people doing it again. So I was like, let me jump on that and try it finally. So I went to the store, got the ingredients and I made it happen. This is how I created the Florida Spicy Bowl. These are the ingredients. Banana peppers, jalapenos, pepperoncinis, pickles, pickled sausage, pickled eggs, a hot sauce of your choice, smoked paprika. Okay, I also have my seasoning blend here. I'm going to add to the Florida Spicy Bowl. Chop everything up to your liking. Then just disassemble your bowl. Very simple, very easy. Make sure you pour some juices in there from each item. Add your seasonings. Okay, then you blend everything up. Shake everything up real good and there you have it. y'all yeah, that was real simple then i put it in the refrigerator and let it get cool for a couple hours and here we go so let's get into it you're supposed to try it with cheddar cheese ruffle so that's what i'm gonna do so let's see put a pickle on there See, I'm going to try to put everything on there. It's hard to put everything on there, so let me see. Really good. Really good. This is this is Yeah. 
So good. Mm-hmm. <sighs> oh, there's so many flavors, and I love it. I tried pickle, almost pickled everything. I never tried pickled eggs before. Let me tell you, they are by dot com. Mm hmm. No. I did a very short clip in this video. Of how I just just imp <clears throat> well I did a short clip on how I put it all together. Some other videos that I've seen, I'm gonna put it in the description box. Now this, the floor of the spicy bowl. It's something else called quarter B version. But I wanted to do this one first. Mm. I used um spicy pickles instead. To give it an extra little kick. So good, y'all. Um, I use... Some um some different salt free seasoning blend along with smoked paprika, a little pepper. But I did use obey, I put a little obey in there as well. Obey is the only seasoning I use with salt in it. All the other seasoning I use with salt, salt free. Mmm, mmm. Wow, this is so good.
you really can use any type of hot sauce you want. If you're the type of person that don't really like too much heat, you can use a mild hot sauce. And you don't have to add the jalapenos. If the jalapenos are too hot for you, don't add them. Just add the peppercinis and the banana peppers. Those are not hot. I'm going to use a mild hot sauce. So don't try it just because you're afraid of some heat. You could customize it. The pickle eggs not hot. The banana peppers not hot. The peppercinis not hot. I use spicy pickles, but you don't need to use spicy pickles. So customize it to your liking if you're a person that can't tolerate too much heat. But, y'all, it's delicious. You know what? This is not a challenge, but I would like to see a few people do this. I would like to see Felicia from Long End and Conversation do it. Or she could do it with her whole family. It doesn't matter. Y'all jump on this and try it. It is so good. Have you tried it already? I don't remember seeing a video of you trying this. I don't think so. So try it, Rome's Eating Conversation. I tell you to try this. Like I said, it's not a challenge, y'all. I just want, I just want y'all to try it. Who else I tell to try it? Steph DIY Queen, you try too. You try as well. Yeah, this is so good. Y'all. I watched TLC Forever documentary on Lifetime. When I tell you, it was a good documentary, but people are so grimy. People are really grimy. If I was going into the music industry, I would make sure I read over that contract thoroughly, have my lawyer read over that contract thoroughly, have my mother read over that contract and get her opinion of it. Because people will really try to take advantage of you. Unless, you know,
you went to college or you took some classes on the business part of the of the music industry, people could take advantage take advantage of you. So you gotta know what you get yourself into. It's crazy. But it was a good documentary though. It was very informing. It's called TLC Forever. I don't want to talk about it too much because I don't want to spoil it. But uh, I will say it's a good it's a good documentary. You most definitely should check that documentary out. TLC Forever. Earlier, I did another video. I did Stephanie, Steph DIY Queen Challenge, celebrating her, her UK, I mean her UK, her 2K. So we'll check that video out. I'm going to try a few more and y'all yeah, going to wrap this video up because this is good. This is very good. Very, very good. And when you make it, the people I tag to try, make sure you leave in the refrigerator for a couple hours so they get cold. It tastes better that way. So good. To let all those flavors marinate. Delicious. At least two hours or hour. Mine was in there for a couple hours because I made mine twelve o'clock around twelve o'clock. I made it, put it in the refrigerator. I went on some errands. I did a challenge. I watched a movie, and now I'm doing this. So mine's been in the refrigerator for a couple hours. chips so good y'all try it I bet you could even make a vegan version of it. You would have to do it without the egg. And just use a vegan sausage. my vegans out there, if y'all watch and try it, I would like to see what y'all come up with. <clears throat> Alright, y'all, I'm going to wrap this video up. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, press that bell to be notified. See you on my next upload. Deuces.